Hi everyone, it's the 17th of September. We are now off to new all-time highs. This purple resistance is breaking. And the last hurdle that we have is this golden resistance, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So this, this level is clearly a very, very important horizontal level, which is around, well, 5670. Anything above 5670, 5675 is going to take us to a new all-time high. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what else. And that purple resistance on the SPX cash, you can see the golden channel is formed, the internal support held, and it is breaking this purple resistance rail now. And similarly, uh, we're going to put another rectangle here. It's right there, actually. It's right there breaking these previous highs of August. So we are now off to new all time highs. Just like Dow Jones, it touched um, that green resistance yesterday, pulled back a little bit, and now it's breaking that green resistance for good. And I've been saying this that we are going to touch that red resistance. Now, this is the next target, which is going to be 42,500, 42,600 ish on the Dow Jones cash. I'm going very fast because I don't want to repeat myself on all of these. Everything that we have we have said, I have said, has come to fruition. Yes, we had some um, uh, pullbacks on the way. Obviously, that's normal. The red resistance break, back test, the blue bull flags break, everything that I've been showing since last week, this is what I showed also, especially on the futures package. I said that this is the back test and we are breaking to new highs. This green resistance is now breaking. First, second, third, fourth, this is now clearing that green resistance. And the red resistance here has uh, four touches and the next one may break it and we're going to get to 43,000 on the Dow Jones cash. NASDAQ futures the continuous futures is now breaking this golden resistance for good, right? That is now broken. I'm still holding, we are still holding the, the, the long that we bought from the breakout. We got there, pulled back to the breakout level, as you can see yesterday, and now we're breaking to the upside. I'm still holding that long, half long. This blue resistance is the one to watch for. And I think once we break it, we're going to minimum, we're going to get to that blue top band. That is a potential resistance if and when we get there. It is clearly a very beautiful bullish breakout. We have this potential purple bull flag, sorry, purple uptrend. Uh, maybe it's not even a potential one anymore. Um, I'm going to now put it right there. So let's see, do we have something like that? Yeah, it's red color now, but you can see here, it's kind of an uptrend right there. Okay. And this is what's driving it to uh, driving it higher. This purple channel is the one to watch. And I think we're going to get at least to that blue top band. Once this blue resistance is broken on the NASDAQ cash, it's the same picture that golden resistance is now broken, right? This golden resistance last week, it tried it sorry, not last week, yesterday, you tried it, pulled back, now it's breaking it. The blue resistance is at 19,650. It has five touches already. And once we break it, the minimum target is the, pre the, the, the previous high above that one. So that's the 20,000 mark. Russell, it's beautiful, really, the black channel, the blue resistance broken, back tested, and it's getting to new highs. And I think ultimately we're going to get to 2400, which is that golden top band. Okay. First, second, third, we pulled back deep, rallied, pulled back again. Now it's broken and we're going to get to 2400, which is that golden top band. FTSE is stagnant i don't have much to say about it because it's just a loser's game i don't touch but see much dax uh, this morning i gave the bullish signal at the break of that black bull flag this is exactly where it broke out that is perfect break breakout 
And is it going to get to that golden broken resistance or support to, to backtest it once again? The level, which would be very decisively bullish, would be the break of this blue resistance, first, second, third. Obviously, we're a bit, I mean, we're a long way from, from that level, which is, which is 18,000, well, 19,000. Yeah, it's, we need another 200 points to get there, um, more than 200 points to get there. Is it going to get there? it may reverse come back down to this green bottom band and then rally this green channel may be forming um and it's clearly this is looking very bullish with the break today and but we have to stay above that black broken resistance and keep on pushing at least towards 18900 or at least this golden resistance at 18870 or so the french index had formed the red bear flag but it's it's refusing to break it to the downside. If, of course, it, ha it can break that red top band, then it would be the invalidation of the bear flag, which would be obviously very bullish, a, a rising channel breaking to the upside. That would be very, very bullish. I told you about the 7300, yeah, uh, the back test of the purple broken channel. It didn't get there all the way to that back test, unfortunately. I thought it's going to come down eventually and then we could buy. Actually, that trade has um, has escaped me. So the, the red bottom band's break would be bearish, but the current market and the FOMC rate decision coming tomorrow, it will prob it probably won't be happening. So um, let's have a look at TLT. Now it's still pushing 101. And I think uh, we're going to get to 100, 500, 6 in time. But as I said, the 10-year Treasury note is going to be very critical at around 116. Now, oil is had bounced off that golden support rail. The, yeah, that's a long-term support rail. Is it going to get to the red, pull back down one more time, pull down one more time, and then break out? Um, we don't know that yet, but it hasn't really pushed too much so far. And as I said on the Brent oil, which looks much more bearish than the US oil, it had broken that blue support rail. It's inside the green downtrend. It is back testing the green internal resistance, which is a very critical level. And I think we may see another reversal, especially if it touches that purple top band. I think we're going to come down towards 66. Um, yeah, around 66. From 70, I mean, the, the, the top band, the purple, is going to be around 73.30. That's for Brent oil, 73.20, 73.30, and then come down. I can even argue we will have a kind of a double resistance if it gets there. That's the black let's say black and purple and uh it's yeah the the the, the intersection is 7350 really if it gets there soon uh gold is starting to pull back and uh it's not very visible on from the blue top band but it is very visible on the uh continuous futures chart which is that green top band i mentioned on friday's video I said 2590 is the resistance, that green resistance, which may start a pullback. If this red internal support holds, and I can argue that this is kind of a rail support right there. Yeah, that that is a rail support. So if it touches that red internal support, then we rally to break that green top band. Ultimately, that green top band will be broken. I believe it will be, the, it, which already has three touches. The red support, I don't think there is any way or form to break that red support. I don't think that's gonna happen. So every dip on gold is a buying opportunity. And I think ultimately we're gonna get the green top band, take out that green top band and rally to 2700, which is that red top band. So the green top band clear, red top band is the target. Um, silver, Silver's, um, here's Silver's uh, 
resistance is the blue top band, which we haven't visited yet. So that remains to be seen whether it becomes a resistance. And if we start to form a really uh, sharp uptrend, this golden bottom band may be the target or the, the, the support to start to get to that blue top band. Okay. And when it gets there on the spot is going to be around 31.25, 31.30. Silver uh, continuous futures is, you know, almost got to that blue top band. It almost got there. Um, we may still see a proper touch and it is also going to be, you know, there is quite a few uh, horizontal support levels for for silver right there. You can see here, these are the highs. This is high of June, high of um, May. So it's not going to be that easy to take out these horizontal resistance levels. So we're going to put those as well. You can see here, okay? They are not going to be very, very easy. Around 32, 50, 33. Uh, anything above 33 is going to open the way for a much higher rally. Uh, platinum stopped at the purple top band. That is perfect. I mean, it's not really perfect. It got to that level, which is 1,005. It's not the best precision, but it, it, it did the job. It also, you can see the blue broken support. Now it's coming, it's come down. Okay. I think we're going to have a really nice bottom out here. Um, especially, right. This is the perfect red bull flag, right? And uh, we have the green broken bear flag, which was broken to the upside. We are back testing that green broken resistance. Okay. That was a resistance you can see here. It was broken, we back tested it. This is what lines do guys. So it, there is a projection into the future and this green support is holding. Not only that, the blue top band, it, that broken blue top band is getting back tested as well. And we have this red small ball flag. So I think there is a very good chance that we are gonna bounce here break that red top band and the on the spot chart is going to be 988 989 and then we break towards uh towards that green and blue which is going to be 1025 and that would also break that purple top band there is only one caveat uh, with this because that purple top band hasn't been tested on the continuous future so even if we get to a new all time new high which is going to be 1,015 for the continuous futures, we may still see a very sharp reversal. So just got to be careful. Sometimes spot chart tells us the truth. Sometimes the continuous futures. That's why I look at both. Natural gas had bounced off the red, the blue broken resistance, and that held as support, which is not surprising at all. It got to a new marginal high, and I think we have more upside. And you can see the uh, the the October contract top band is twenty four fifty, which is what I said in yesterday's video. I think ultimately we're going to get to that twenty four fifty, or actually twenty four seventy, twenty four seventy five, and then we have to be very careful because it may really cause a major reversal. This year is copper. Copper had broken the golden bear flag to the upside and back tested it, which is why I bought it today for 29. And I think the ultimate minimum target is that purple top band, which is at 442, 443. And then we will reevaluate if it gets there and then we will see, maybe we'll see a reversal, which may turn into another bear flag. So the golden one is gone. Of course it can do the purple top band the same. It may, get there, maybe reverse a little bit and then break it to the upside. Then of course, it's going to open the way for 475, 480, even 500. And the, if it gets to that 500 level, it would obviously break that purple top band. That is a multi-decade resistance that has been holding and we will see whether it can break it or not. Palladium, had broken and back, uh, sorry, it's back tested off that green support. 
it is inside this blue downtrend our potential downtrend it has broken the red resistance which is obviously quite positive now let's have a look at euro euro is now has now broken out of the red bull flag that is not really surprising at all i've been telling talking about this red bull flag we broke it yesterday back tested it i can even argue if we want to be very precise this red bottom band red top band it is now broken which suggests that euro should get to 113 114 from here pound sterling is the same the red bull flag was broken the golden resistance initially held we broke we just broke it today which is which means as long as we stay above that golden support i uh, should turn as support we should see a more upside us dollar japanese yen obviously is very bearish since the break of the red uptrend a reversal at the green top and i think we're going to come down to that 135 136 level dxy the us dollar index is now um if it loads it yeah it's it's approaching the blue bottom band together with the black at 99.50 that is that will be a very significant that may turn into a very significant support to start a big rally so got to be careful when it gets there and if it bounces aussie dollar is forcing that red top band once again almost you know is it going to break it or not we'll see and kiwi is looking very bullish because of that per golden broken resistance and its back test that level excuse me i'm going to show you i'm going to repeat that resistance that's the from the highs of 2021 this is the daily chart three four touches five touches broken back tested another back test at 61.10 and from 61.10 it already rallied 100 pips from 61.10 which i showed in <laughs> last week's video 61.10 is going to be the bottom out the blue bull flag is broken the green resistance is being tried yeah it's being forced to break <coughs> and there may be some more upside very soon us dollar cad off the blue support it's going to be the golden bull flag if it touches the blue support maybe it will break coffee is really strong look at this beauty finally we broke it to the upside and I think the minimum target is 275, but which I showed, but I showed you the the um, multi-decade chart on in yesterday's video. So just check that out, please. And uh, this is the high of 2011. So this is also continuous futures data. That purple resistance is now broken. It's the black channel that is driving it higher. The minimum target. I think we are all if we are off to major major rally probably towards 350 400 um or 370 so i'm going to be holding that long because this could is it may become a giant a giant gain for us uh wheat is inside the downtrend uh yesterday i showed that green bottom and potential support it and the purple it both they both held and the green top band is the obvious potential target but it really has to start to rally today without breaking that green and purple supports right and the blue one was broken and back tested anyway there is hope for wheat but it's not really rallying is it so i'm a little bit you know tongue in the cheek moment here um soybeans uh, had broken the blue resistance back tested it but it failed to rally it broke down the green and back tested it several times that green uptrend so where do we go from here that green broken resistance become support becomes a resistance the purple bull flag right there the red support first second third fourth yeah this red support rail is holding okay and it is the golden it's the purple bull flag that needs to be broken to the upside for a rally okay so here it is i think um well that blue resistance break didn't really end up to um yeah added up to anything the, this purple bull flag has to be broken to the upside 
if the red support breaks, I think we may come down to that purple bottom bound to find a major low there. Uh, corn is slightly bullish, obviously, but it's still, it's, it's, even though it has broken the green bull flag, it still has this overhead golden resistance rail and the blue resistance. So I don't think we're out of the woods yet on corn. Cocoa is off that golden support. This is the continuous. And this here is the, the December contract, which is touching this blue potential resistance rail. And that may, you know, change it at least to that red bottom band, bring it back to that red bottom band. And then it has to rally to break that blue resistance. Got to be careful now with Cocoa. Now, green resistance on sugar is still holding. And if we look at the uh, blue, I can also make it green. So just to be on the same <clears throat> on the same color coding, okay? So this here is the October contract. This green resistance rail has to be broken, but there is this this little gap at eighteen forty hasn't been tested, hasn't been filled yet. So um, maybe still bearish. Cotton has broken out right this cotton has broken out now so i think the blue channel is yeah the red support the green support and the blue channel is broken to the upside which is why i think cotton is ready to rally okay now let's have a look at coins bitcoin is now back testing the red broken bear flag and it's trying to break back in of course if it if it really succeeds it's going to look very bullish. So I'm going to put a few more things here, right? The black line. It's not a resistance yet, but if it gets there, it may turn into one. And what else? And we have maybe from this high to that high, also a potential resistance, which is I'm going to put in purple color. Okay. So Bitcoin is trying to break back into the red but if it of course if it can't and if it reverses then the the green bottom band obviously i've been saying it for quite some time this green channels back test sorry the green bear flags bottom band may really i mean if it does break it may turn things very ugly so i've been warning you for quite some time this is Bitcoin dominance, and that the, this is the reason why Bitcoin is very dominant against all the other currencies, which started with the break of the blue top band back test and this green uh, uptrend. The golden bull flag was broken. So everything is Bitcoin favoring Bitcoin so far. Ethereum, you can see uh, the purple resistance couldn't be broken. It's that blue support, anything below 21. 100 is going to be the end game for ethereum for quite some time um, there is still hope by the way and there is still hope for binance for example the bnb and you can see here the the red channel is still very much intact solana is inside the golden bull flag which may turn things very bullish if it can be broken at some point the top band is at 183 monero is still forcing it's still it's not giving up even though that golden support is being forced to break anything above 180 185 is going to look very bullish and ripple has to break 70 cents uh or 75 cents fetch ai has stopped at the blue resistance that diagonal resistance but it you know i think if it stays above this golden broken bull flag we will still see a rally data golden downtrend which is now which needs to be broken om obviously looking not too bad um zcash not really dash uh looks encouraging or promising if it can break out of this giant wedge and dogecoin has to break the green bull flag but it may come down to the golden and then rally cas is inside the green sideways channel has to break that up pal I couldn't break out of the gold the purple bull flag just so far no pepe green bull flag 
golden broken supports back test you can see it's this green bull flag that needs to be broken to the upside jasmine blue bull flag the green uptrend everything is still looking very very positive but it really has to break to the upside and Aave has to break that red top band at the moment there is no such breakout i will look at the chilies avax uh, slowly broke trying to break that red resistance but not much to say ckb koti <laughs> dydx looking terrible really i'm going to remove dydx i'm going to remove the ones that oh this is phantom this looks good because of the blue bull flags break very very clear breakout here and i'm just gonna show something here i think there is something here this purple resistance also is breaking you can see here that support support broken back test back test now it's breaking that purple resistance so somehow phantom looks very very good here okay um I, that's why i'm going to put it up there and zcash down because zcash is very very dodgy uh rsr hmm, is trying to break that red resistance at the moment so that that looks very positive uh sandbox not much shiba is going to try that golden resistance <coughs> It already came down to the breakout level of that red. And that's why I think Shiba is ready to rally big time. I gave you Shiba at 110. I told you to get out at 440. That's the best call on any of these coins so far. One of my best calls really from of this year. Tia is up 10%. It may break out of the red bull flag which would be obviously very, very bullish. That red downtrend has to be broken. And Tezos, not much to say. Venri is inside the blue bull flag. So at some point we may see a breakout. So let me put that also to the upside. Chainlink, okay, it hasn't really, so it still, I think, has the one of the best um um uh, prospects okay and the reason is this golden and the green you can see the green sideways channel broken we may see a back test on that around six seven twenty as ultimately and then a break to the upside so got to be careful on that chain link but i think there is there is a chance hive is looking slightly bullish because it is trying to break out of this red downtrend. This is the perfect textbook downtrend. You can see how many touches on each side. That is really, really beautiful downtrend. And I think we're gonna see a really big push at least toward that per towards that purple broken support at 30 cents. We are at 17 cents. So this could turn into something really positive if it can break out of the red downtrend. Um, and grt is under that golden resistance at the moment it hasn't broken but it's trying yeah it is trying so some of the altcoins are looking well maybe more promising pyr i don't like it i'm going to remove it from the pictures because that's really not the light coin has to break back into the blue so far it has tried but hasn't broken back in all right, guys, I hope it helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.